questions about performance of the Yelp portfolio, um, and we've heard that it grew from 1 billion to less than 1 billion, but close to the um, In 1985, to 16 billion is very impressive. Um, and it's documented in newspapers, it's um, um, online, Wikipedia. Um, Professor Schiller introduced you with these uh, facts. But um, what about the sharp ratio? And um, why do you think that people, people talk more about total returns than say, the sharp ratio? <coughs> So I think that one of the things that needs to happen in the funds management world is that we need to have better measures of, of risk. And so one of the reasons why I don't talk about the, the, the sharp ratio is that just looking at uh, standard deviation of returns uh, doesn't capture risk in a way that is, is meaningful. I mean, I've seen other people do an analysis of the Yale portfolio and show relative sharp ratios, and obviously because our returns have been so, so, so good, and if you just look at the, the, the pattern of those returns, we end up um, scoring high uh, when looking at, the, at sharp ratios uh, across different institutional portfolios. But the, but, but, but the um, risks that ex exist in the portfolio aren't really captured by standard deviation of, uh, of the returns. Just a, a quick example, uh, if you look at real estate or timber uh, or even any of our illiquid assets, they're appraised relatively infrequently. Uh, there, there, there tends to be a huge stability basis, right, a bias in the, in the appraisals. Uh, if, if somebody looks at a piece of real estate, you know, 12 months ago, six months ago, and today they're likely to see pretty much the same thing that they, they saw over that period. You know, you compare and contrast that to the volatility that you've got in the stock market. Um, I think Bob Schiller deserves credit for the, coining the term excess volatility. There's no question that, you know, stock prices are way more variable than they need to be to um, adjust for changes in the underlying fundamentals. So if, you, if you've got a portfolio that's largely marketable securities, you're going to see a lot more standard deviation of returns than if you've got one uh, of illiquid assets where you've got this kind of stability built in because of the appraisal nature of the valuation process. And if you end up you know, comparing those two portfolios, one dominated by marketable securities, one dominated by private assets, you're going to end up with uh, uh, measures that are, are, are apples and oranges. So with that, thank you very much.